Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick recap of the Phantoms capturing one point in a two to one loss led by Vateri Pastunin, excuse me, being able to score both goals for the Worksbury Scranton Penguins. Pastunin played a great game and just really was able to get that one shot through. It looked like Ursan might have been screened. Um, when he came to the shot in overtime, and then the other shot was a turnover in the corner, a bad play, a play that the Phantoms have been making too much early on, those turnovers in their own zone, one that Ursan bailed them out on later in the game there, he was hung out to dry and really couldn't do anything on the student's goal there. But what I did see, even though the offense did not strike in this game, and the big thing you got to get better on and find a way to get the pucks to the net and score on is the power play 0 for 6 again. The defense did step up and make them go 0 for 3, though, and got better throughout the game. Wilkesbury was really supplying pressure, really looking like the better team early on. Then it ended up in 30 to 29 in shots, according to the Phantoms app and game report here. So. Uh, that's how it ended up, which means the Phantoms, and as you watch that game, you saw them generating more chances. Louis Domingue also played a very good game in net for Wilkesbury, but if I had to give the nod to who was the greatest goaltender on the ice today, that still has to go to Urson, just like it goes to Sandstrom last night, even in a losing effort, because he kept them in the game. The Phantoms really hung him out to dry a couple times early. And he made the save. The one was impossible to make on Bastoon, and he was able to score, and then the one in overtime Looked like he was screened, so that's just unfortunate and there ain't anything you can do about um, that one. But, I mean, the big bugaboo that you see in this game continuing to not be able to help the offense is you got six power plays. If you score on one of those power plays, this is a different game. And then if Willman scores at the end there, that's the game-winning goal assisted by Forster and Edgers, Edgar Zamula. So, like, that's a difference of a win to a loss there, being able to even score on one of those power plays. So obviously, Ian LaPerriere has made it apparent. You have to get that going. You want to have more of a shooting mentality, and the Phantoms were still a little bit overly passive when it came to being on the power play. I would like to see them have more of a shooting mentality. On the positives, <clears throat> as I said, they did build up, excuse me, and have a better defensive game as time went on. They also supplied more pressure on offense as time went on to eventually lead to that game tying Wilman goal on the rebound there from the shot um, from up top that he was able to get the rebound on as he jumped over the Forster shot, and he was able to then backhand it in for a very nice goal. So this is something to build on the end of the game, supplying better offensive pressure as time went on. That's something to build on for a Phantom that you have to build on and grow and really take into the next game. Because the next game, of course, is going to be against the Wilkesbury Scram Penguins in Wilkesbury on Wednesday. So you're going to have to come out with more oomph. You don't want to be having to rely all on the goaltenders. The goaltenders have been brilliant early. Sandstrom in two, Ursan in two. But you can't keep relying all on them. you got to get the power play out of the offers in these games and actually get going. Just one score on a power play in this game would have been the difference in a win. So those are my big takeaways from this game. Samuel Ursan is a beast. Felix Sandstrom is a beast. The Phantoms are beyond competent. They might have one of the better young duos in the AHL when it comes to their goaltending. So they're beyond good in net. They just need to get the offense going. If this keeps the one thing I will say on the positive ground of this video is if this keeps the way it's going, eventually, as the announcer said on the Great Service Electric Network broadcast, eventually this is gonna turn around and the offense is just gonna have to get going in spurts and get going more because you have very good goaltending. That's gonna keep building the momentum as it has for the big club in a couple games when there's been big saves or good goaltending that's led to rushes on the one Atkinson goal and then obviously of course on the goal that G was able to, to, I think it was G, was able to score after the Eberly save, if I'm remembering correctly. But you have to um be able to supply more pressure throughout the game. The Phantoms did not play a good offensive, consistent 60 minutes. They supply more pressure at the end of this game. That's something I'm going to look for them to do in the next game at Wilkesbury, And also just to be able to be more shoot incentivized on the power play. Don't look for the perfect shot. Just get it through. That's what the Phantoms did more last year, and that's how they scored some of those crummy goals. But kind of like Mark Zumorf used to say, turn garbage into gold. So that has been a reaction to the Phantoms. Unfortunately, losing 2-1, to one, I still would give, again, like I did with Ursa, or with Sandstrom yesterday, I still would give Ursan a star in this game. 
Honestly, I would have to give him the first star still because he's the reason we got to where it was. Unfortunately, Pastunin was open. It looked like he might have not been able to see that shot. The other one that was hung out to dry air from a turnover in the corner. So there ain't nothing he could do on that. So I would say it would be Ursan. Pastoon and, and then Louis Domingue because Louis Domingue played a good game as well. I honestly forgot about him in the preview. How the hell did I forget about Louis Domingue? One of the better pass pa uh, passing goaltenders, excuse me. So he's almost an extra defenseman and one of the better AHL guys. So um, he stepped up as well, but Ursan was the best of the two goaltenders. Pastoon and stepped up. And then, of course, you got to give it to Louis Domingue for playing good over there. So subscribe down below, everybody, or up top on the easy to use widget. Let's bounce back on Wednesday and get that first W in Wilkesbury. Nice job at least bouncing back, getting the offensive Andy going, and coming up with a point by our Phantoms in this game. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.